Hey guys, so after we finish filming this episode of Tea Party, more news on this Portia, Fallon, Simon, and Dennis story has come out. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can get all of the tea. Now let's get into it. What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and me and Sheridan are back with a new episode of Tea Party. Y'all was on the line last night. Y'all hit me up on every social media page I got about this damn Portia, Simon, Fallis, Dennis Story, child. Not Dylan. <laughs> it is a mess. But I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. But before we even get into all of that tea, Sheridan has a few things to say to you all. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so y'all saw me thank Lakeisha. That is not her real name, y'all. I really want y'all. No, it's not. I just She's be calling her Lakeisha. <laughs> but I already thank Lakeisha for her wonderful birthday gifts. And that's the one that you guys saw. But um, I wanted to make sure I thank all of you guys for your birthday, your early birthday wishes. Y'all have started off my birthday wonderfully. Uh, I tried to comment to everybody, but baby, I cannot keep up. So I'm just going to say on the video, thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate it. Now come on over to Peach Juice. So let's, let's talk about Peach Juice. <laughs> Woo! I I'm, never I'm watching at a everything thing. like she only want me for my pimp juice. I mean, I've been saying it for 24 hours. <laughs> Ooh, she was a friend of mine. Listen, hello, call I to Barbara. Hello, Matthew to Barbara. Barbara, this is Shirley. <laughs> you cheated. You took As my African man. <laughs> <laughs> As and Sheridan her is so cute. I love Sheridan her like Thank that. Thank you. She trying to catch her man on her birthday trip this week, Chad. Listen, mm. maybe I need to order me some pamper by Portia. I mean, to start giving me an African husband because that's what I'm in. Hair, ma'am. I Listen. mean. Peace yeah, too. okay, so we're going to break this whole scandalous story down bit by bit, how it Ooh. came into <sighs> us. So on Mother's Day this past Sunday, uh, this photo that I'm going to post right up in here somewhere of Dennis, uh, Portia, and Simon uh, was posted. And I was side-eyeing it like, why is Simon spending Mother's Day with Portia? I was like, this is odd. This is weird. Maybe they're just friends with him. Maybe he didn't have a place to go that day i was like that's odd and weird but then it was i was tripping off the fact that she was turned his way with her hand on his chest and i was like yeah. what in the world is going on but i was so wrapped up in my own shit that day that i just said okay this is weird but i'm gonna keep it moving but then we saw that uh dennis posted the picture and said congrats p Cheers to your next chapter. Happy Mother's Day. And she said, thank you. So when he posted that, I'm like, congrats on your next chapter. I was like, now, wait a minute. Something ain't clean in this water and this milk, child. What is going on? So what did you think when you saw the initial pictures, friend? <laughs> um, so my, my eyeballs immediately went to the ring even trip off the ring because I thought it might have been the ring that he had got her. Dennis nah, because I know what that ring looked like. Yeah, I knew I it wasn't no that ring. Her. Yeah. My eyeballs immediately went to the ring and then I was like, okay, well, maybe not because you know, sometimes when you do pictures or videos, you kind of swap hands. Yeah. So maybe like it's what it mirrors the image. So maybe that's her right hand. Okay. Yeah. And but regardless why is your hand on this man stomach chest area and he and Dennis are friends. 
So I was confused, but I just kept it moving. It gives me very much pass around. Like, I don't want to know more so you can have a... Mm -mm. Let's continue. Okay. So then I saw later on that night this post where it showed that Fallon no longer followed Portia. And I was like, oh, well, somebody is big mad. Like, what is going (laughs) on? I was like, well, maybe she was mad because they got a divorce now or they're divorcing and he over there kicking it with her castmates being funny. Right. I'm still not putting it together that these two are fucking around. I was side eyeing him, but I was like, no, no, no. But then I was like, okay, maybe she just mad because he kicking it with her castmates. I was like, okay. But then, Oh, but then Portia confirmed on Dish Nation that she is, in fact, in a happy relationship. And this is what she had to say. I will say this. I am happy. I am in love with my new love and i'm i'm mm-hmm. excited about it god is good um oh, you yeah. know my family is amazing they support i didn't see the dish nation post until last night when everything really got to spilling out all at once same here so i guess she must have this must have been earlier in the day monday of course when she spilled that part of the tea but nobody tripped off of it um because I guess one nobody really watching. Yeah, Dish like who Nation watches because... this nation? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Mm, okay. But then the hammer was thrown down, and Portia posted this picture of her and Simon, and this was the caption. We're gonna read it. Um, our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. after a month I know it's fast but we are living life each day to its fullest I choose happiness every morning and every night putting out all negative energy and only focus on positive wishes he makes me so happy and to me that is what matters most for all of you that need facts I get the optics but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January from a previous marriage, you're going to act like you don't know who Fallon is. Okay. I had nothing to do with their divorce. That's between the two of them. Fallon and I are not friends. And Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of my happiness in this situation. As well as being the best co-parents they can be to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people. Let's praise them. It's truly a beautiful moment in my life and we cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. XOXOP. Hashtag love wins. Now let's break this down. First, she says that they started dating a month ago. Do you believe that? No. I don't bit more believe that girl. You's a goddamn lie. You only been dating this man for four weeks and you crazy in love and talking about co-parenting with this man and got this man around your goddamn daughter. You don't know if this nigga is a serial rapist or a woman beater. You don't know this nigga from Adam, according to you and what you're saying, but you're crazy in love and co-parenting with him and got him around your kid and Dennis co-signing this shit. All y'all crazy and stupid. Well, Dennis can co-sign because he actually knows him in real life. Um, Portia fall in love like me. Somebody that ain't giving up the kitty, you know, you fall in love real quick. <laughs> Portia, you're lying. I first of all, I rarely believe anything that comes out of this girl mouth. Um, she has a history and a track record of being a liar, a liar. and a harlot. So, um, a liar and a harlot. So I don't believe her, but mm-mm, yeah. 
I don't bit mo believe nothing that comes out of her mouth. I just told y'all Sunday that this woman was a liar. I've been telling y'all this for years that she is not to be trusted. All of y'all Kenya haters that called her a whore and be going after women's husbands and a liar. What you got to say now? That's all I care about. What y'all got to say now? Because y'all was even under Sunday's uh, review talking big money cash shit about Kenya. And now look at you, yeah. girl. And for anybody that want to steal, ride for her in this bullshit, you ain't shit neither. Because, like, no. Then the part about her and Fallon not being friends. Okay. Fallon was on Speak On It with Candy about a month ago. And this is what she had to say about, you know, how she met Portia, this, that, and the third. You first came on to the show mm -hmm. um you came on as a friend of Porsche's so yeah. what was y'all history oh you know what um it was more so through Dennis and Simon mm -hmm. um they knew each other they're in the same industry mm -hmm. you know we own a nightclub um, called Republic and Dennis was in that industry and Simon was also in the restaurant industry so they just would mm -hmm collide every here and there mm -hmm. um and at some point in time Portia and I got to meet and um she was really sweet she's always been very real and genuine mm -hmm. so um we quit they not friends but y'all was out kicking in the club together they was couples friends Portia she smashed the home Portia she smashed the home <laughs> Okay, because I know the, the Porsche support is going to be like, they just co-workers. You know how people bring, they say that, um, you know how on the reality shows, they act like these people are really friends and to bring right. them on into the show. Okay, I get all of that. But at the same token, they might not have been besties. They might not have spoken on the phone every day. But that's just like me and Sheridan are great friends, best friends, whatever. Her cousin Tara, I know Tara. I have spoken on the phone with Tara several times. We've gone on vacation with each other. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, if Tara was married and I have met her husband several times, spoke to him or whatever, uh, and then they break up and then I pop up on some, yeah, I'm in love and we getting married. Everybody would be looking at me like, oh, what? It's the principle behind everything. No, y'all might not have been best friends, but it's still foul and fucked up because you was not only couples friends with this girl, y'all kicked it outside of this show, you filmed inside of this woman's house, and now you're dating her ex-husband that ain't, they ain't even been divorced six months yet. And now it's all some, me and her ain't friends, and um, we crazy in love about the co-parent. Can I say something? Yeah. Um, let's talk about this whole he filed for divorce in January thing. Yes, he filed for divorce in January, but he also reneged mm -hmm. and then he filed again. posted on January 21st that he loved Fallon, this, that, and the third. He was all on social media talking about Fallon cheating on him and how he was so hurt. I don't believe that. Let me tell you something. I'm starting to feel that Simon Stop and Portia masterminded this whole she cheated on me with a woman. Y'all see how it's like the, the story is projected like the stuff Portia do. Now Fallon is that girl, but she cheated on me with a woman and now that's why we're no longer together. But you was just in love with sis. So you start blasting her for cheating on you with a woman. I, I, it don't make sense. It's not making sense to me. The same woman who was running around the house trying to beat up Latoya for you, but now she cheating on you with a woman, and you get with a girl who like women. Okay. They put that story out there for us, so that when this here came out, we could be like, "Have well, she cheated on him?" They don't owe her nothing. She ruined her marriage. She literally, with this video that I'm posting right now, you see her all in this woman house with this man. So you fucking him on the same mattress that they didn't slept on and ejaculated on. Like, 
let's just keep it a buck and keep it real. I have been saying this for the longest. Portia is a hoe. She been a hoe. And she gonna always be a hoe. I told y'all the first season she Ooh. came on this show when she was married to Cardell that she transformed herself into who she needed to be to get the bag. Portia yeah. was doing music videos. She was a video vixen, a video hoe before she got with him. And then as soon as she got with him, she turned into this church more. I don't do anything. I hate gay people. And I don't go to strip clubs because my husband said so. Then as soon as he divorced her, it went back to what? Hoe Portia. She got a whole body done, face included, and was out here home. Every nigga that she got with that has been on this show since then, she meet him and immediately she in love, trying to get houses with these niggas, trying to have babies with them, and she scared their asses off. Only reason why she was able to trap Dennis ugly ass because he just don't give a fuck because he continued to hoe and cheat on her left and right. And now you done got with this ugly ass nigga because he got money. You saw the bag. That episode when they she went over to Fallon's house, baby, I done went back and looked at it. She was looking like, oh, hell yeah. And <laughs> was, y'all got a private chat, y'all. Girl, peace do. It's a come up. She trying to get that bag. Remember when Shamia married her African, she was pissed. Jealous. She was pissed. Didn't even want to go to this girl uh, fucking wedding. Wait. Yep. Because she secured the bag and Portia was still out here single trying to secure the bag and she was jealous. But now they're on the same playing field now. But we just not going to get into Portia ass because this ugly ass nigga ain't no Oh uh, yeah. Because he trifling as fuck too. Trifling as hell. The way y'all starting this shit off is the way it's going to end. <laughs> you can't come into no relationship on a negative standpoint and think that everything is just going to be hunky dory like people better stop playing with god and then she want to say that's the part for me <laughs> god is good all the time portia love portia stop playing with my jesus like that please stop playing with god like that do not add god in your harlotry he ain't got nothing to do with not those, your damn. foolishness Thing. Please. Like, y'all could have at least waited a year. Damn. It ain't even been a good six months. And you know damn well you've been fucking this girl nigga since before a month ago. Girl, goodbye. And I if think... the rumors are true that she might be pregnant. Girl, I... Now, Portia... if she wind up pregnant, that's go. I don't think she's pregnant. I don't. But, girl... I do. I mean, I wouldn't put When you seen Portia wear a loose fitted outfit? Well, I went back and I looked at her other post and she was posting bikini pics with her short haircut from literally about two weeks ago and her stomach was flat. But it still could have been very much. Like, all the time though, Keisha. Like, I mean, I know that. I know that. I, I know that. The last video. I know, with a flat I know, because you can Go be pregnant with a flat stomach. So, I mean, we're going to see, but if she could pop up pregnant, then that disputes her whole, we've only been together for a month. Lie. Oh, well. mm-hmm. I think um, he is disgusting. Um, Ugly ass, because he one of them niggas there without the money, ain't nobody looking or checking for this nigga looking like gator tails. Ew. Ew. He is ugly. He looked like he fresh off the Amistad boat. Now, you're not going to say that. Leave me to freedom. <laughs> Leave me to freedom. What? I want my freedom. Yeah, ugly ass. I can't. Uh, ugly ass. I, he's not attractive. I will agree with that. Ain't none of niggas she ever get with cute. But that if you ain't don't matter the hug, Portia is in it for the bag. And I don't, I ain't mad at her. Cause I, I want to secure the bag too, my nigga. But it's the way you're going about it. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Ain't no optics. It's fucked to the up. That that's the part for me where she's playing on our intelligence. I know how she always look. does. Shut up, Portia. She's doing the same thing that she did with Phaedra and Candy. Mm-hmm. You told me that, Phaedra. 
Mm-hmm. Stop acting like you don't know what's happening. Like she does. Portia always acting slow. And she ain't slow. She Mm-mm. ain't slow at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And you know, and it was Kenya haters for me. Girl. How y'all get to make it? They still Kenya saying fun? she's so obsessed because Kenya, you know, when the news broke last night, she posted posted this Nicki Minaj meme or whatever that I'm gonna post right here if I don't get copywritten, mm-hmm. saying, uh, did I was I lying? Was I lying? No, because she been trying to tell y'all asses for fucking years, but y'all want to vilify Kenya because y'all want to believe in Portia so bad. And you still had those people in the comment section all on the blog saying Kenya is so obsessed. She obsessed much and this, this, that, and the third. No, it ain't about her being obsessed. It's about the fact that Portia is a liar. And everybody that Kenya has called out over the years of lying on her and being shady for real, for real in real life have all been exposed. Nene, Phaedra and now Portia. Can oh. I ask you some? Mm-hmm. Can I ask you some? So Kenya is obsessed with Portia for pointing out that she uh she didn't lie. But Portia's not obsessed with Kenya for bringing up her marriage. Girl, make it make sense. Make Meanwhile, make sense. you shouldn't even be talking about marriages. Take them back First of all, you can hardly get to the altar. And then once you were at the altar, that man was controlling you while you were laughing about Kenya being controlled. Stop but it. They tend to forget about all of that. They tend to forget about all of that. They forget about how Cordell was in the same house with you and left you while you was in the house watching it on the news. You didn't even, this nigga didn't even have the decent to see come knock on the door of the bedroom you were sleeping in in your house and say, I don't want this no more. You had to be in your bed and found it out on your own on the blogs. That's and how had to you pack your pack. stuff up and move back with your mama. But you want to talk about marriages? You just tried to make a one night stand marry you. And it didn't work. That's why everybody like, I don't get why Dennis smiling. He know what it was. They was the one night stand trying to make it more. And I just watched Funky Dineva video. He was like, Dennis ain't stupid. He pawning her off on this nigga. So she won't have to be all up in his pockets <laughs> for child support. This, that, and the third. Ooh, my God. Like, and then let's talk about that part. How you fucking with a nigga? That's your baby daddy partner. Uh, and y'all Business all in the picture together. The, the, the sister wife of it. Like, what is going on here? It's just nasty. It's some it other just, shit. I smell it through the TV. Like, it just smell like all and gill. Like and gill. Like <laughs> gill. <laughs> Ew. I like it. Mm-mm. It's nasty. It's Completely nasty. Disgusting. So Kenya's bestie Brandon had a lot oh, to Lord. say on his social Ooh. media. So he posted this meme of Monique and said the truth. A lot of stands are facing right now. Y'all had enough yet? You exhausted now? Then he Ooh. posted this one of Kaya and said, it's the truth. Okay, I'm done. Mind you, Eva Marcel is liking and laughing all of these. <laughs> Yo, then Eva he, is hysterical. Girl, then he posted this one of Wendy Williams and said, after all the years of rooting for and holding her down, a lot of you are left with this. Eva um. Uh, commented said you are killing me and he posted this one from the movie two could play that game and said real life scenarios and then he posted this iconic one from oprah and megan markle's uh interview from a few months ago and said so were you a home wrecker or are you a home wrecker <laughs> <laughs> hashtag this is the same girl who called kenya a slut from the 90s yeah. girl he hashtagged it choose happiness my ass hashtag phase three already in effect after one month <laughs> hashtag next announcement soon yeah that next announcement gonna be just she's a pregnant um yeah child 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 so you know nini shamari and um 
Latoya Forever all congratulated her yesterday. And so I guess people were coming for Nene. So today Nene posted on her Twitter, I didn't watch the show. So this, the man that was on the show with that girl. Oh shit. Now I see what y'all <laughs> No, this your little sis. Remember this little sis. This is this is little sis, sis. Girl, get your fake ass out of here. Now everybody also was going in because they felt like the ring that he gave Portia because they are engaged is the mm -hmm. same ring that he gave Fallon. They're not the same ring, but they look too motherfucking similar. And I got it posted right here. I wouldn't even want this ring because it looks just either. like the last one, nigga. It's literally the same ring with just a, a different little detail. But yeah. like, I wouldn't want this shit. No, not at all. It's him having. I feel like this man just got rings stored up in his safe. Girl. Like whenever I feel like it, I'm gonna marry you. Like, what? I mean, the ring looked what better than that, that that piece of cloud glass plate that uh Dennis gave her. That ring was so ugly. He could. It was very better. gaudy. It was ugly. It was gaudy, and it was cloudy. The clarity was horrible. Um, so then on Twitter, somebody said that's the same ring his ex-wife has had. Portia commented and said, that's a lie. Um, then someone said, I know Ed Portia is about to give us a sickening wedding dress. And she responded, OMG, so much to plan. Hashtag excited. So what's the peach juice special going to be called on Bravo? Because that's what's happening. I mean. Todd Messias posted this. I love Todd. <laughs> said, I want no parts of being popular. Seat me with people who are at peace and paid. And he captioned it. I guess that shit is too late. And don't be popular and broke as fuck. Because you'll find yourself doing something strange for a piece of change. I don't think that Portia's broke, but who knows that woman's finances. I just think that po Portia's on some whole shit and she's trying to secure the bag by any means necessary. She saw a lick and she took the motherfucking opportunity and it ended up paying off for her for right now. But oh, bitch, everything that glitters ain't motherfucking gold. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not you, Portia, the scammer. Girl. Ugh. So then Simon posted a picture of her hand and with the wedding ring that'll be posted right here. And it said, I like to cease this opportunity to thank every ceasing it for me. Yeah, that don't that don't that ain't right, sir. Okay. Uh opportunity to thank every well wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM, you affirm my believe, my believe, not belief believe that finding love is possible for everyone who genuinely seeks one getting married again was never a question in my mind but when did not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon the interesting thing about life is that it is an individual journey Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one and spread love and positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best versions of ourselves. This is a positive image? Okay. We travel this road not lightly considering we have, we have being in relationship. This nigga can't even write a correct sentence and you married. Whew. Okay have been in relationships that have thought us, thought us to want and do better for ourselves. Not taught, thought us. <laughs> they deserve each other. They uh -huh. deserve each other. She don't know where the underground railroad is or how <laughs> many days it is in a year. This nigga don't I'll know how to this. write correct sentences. Jesus Christ. Um... I asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes after a month. Okay. And then some, we have done the individual work to sustain a healthy relationship. Where? You just Baby. got divorced. What? <laughs> what? Uh, what work did you do, sir? What work was done? What work? I would have rather them just say, we fell in love. We go on to Vegas and get married. We don't care what nobody say. Then be up here lying like this. Not you did the individual work. Weird. Okay. Um, 
And I stand next to her proud that we found each other. What we have is what we wish every single one of you out there minus happiness. What? So when I asked, she said, yes, that is all that mattered. Thank you again for your love and support. Truly appreciate it. Hashtag love wins. Hashtag we the people are not supporting y'all. Hashtag this is dumb. Hashtag is seize not cease. <laughs> Hashtag I can't stand neither one of y'all. Hashtag is top not pop. Oh, God. Girl, he gonna have Ooh. her over there in Africa beating her with bushes and shit. She go- <laughs> Do not. We not gonna reinforce that stereotype. I can't. <laughs> PJ gonna be running around in dirt and shit. I cannot. I have to tell you that this is a hot mess. Um, and if I, if my name were Fallon, baby, so you think Fallon gonna come back next season? I hope she so. better. She better, bitch. bitch. Bitch, you better. You better. You better get I that would check. Have to run. She will have to run me a fake. Step outside. Girl, you better be on some fucking Dineva shit and pay me for my pain, bitch. <laughs> Girl, every time Portia stepped outside, I would be camped outside her house. I'm sorry. And say, same to I feel with Holy Ghost. Like I am. You play with me like this. Every time you step out your house, you're going to have to see me. I will be hiding in that girl bushes. Step outside. Now, Funky Dineva said that, you know, Fallon got three boys. Um, mm-hmm. He said that she came into the relationship with two. So I'm suspecting that the third one is with him. Okay. So, and he said that Simon said when they got divorced that he was determined to stay in her boy's life and that they were currently still being homeschooled at his house. So, Excuse how, me, what? Yeah. So how did so, this gonna work? That's so where the whole co-parenting shit came in that she talking about. Because you in the house with this girl kids. Oh, so while they were celebrating Mother's Day, the kids was there. Maybe. I don't know if they was there with their mama that day, but yeah, that's where this whole co-parenting shit comes in. Baby, wouldn't be no co-parents and my kids. Period. Keep my kids away from her and her teeth and her body. And her body, keep them away. Because I don't want my kid waking up the next day telling my mommy, can I have a BBL? Keep them away from her. Hopefully not. But uh, (laughs) keep uh, them away from her. Girl. Period. You ain't finna be raising my kids. Not with the hot dog, man. That's high potential waiting to happen. Let's not forget this epic clip from the Claudia Jordan season. I still want her to come back. I doubt she ever would, but they. They got rid of her too fast. It was too soon because she was dropping gems even then. This is what Claudia had to say her season uh, when she confronted La Portia. Like how you were like kicking and laughing when I was being called out of my name about being, when she was calling me a whore the other night. You found that entertaining and I just didn't think that was cool at all. But like I know for a fact that, you know, the guy that got you the car is a married African man. Uh, Kenya has said that about Portia before. I but nobody say- believes it. Yeah, remember they was talking about some, but they was trying to act like Kenya was with an African dude. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And remember they was talking about some one eye African or something. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, no, is that what all the African men at in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want me one that's not a scammer, girl. Girl, girl, this is a hot diggity damn mess. A hot ass mess. I need for Fallon to come back next season. I need for her to gain the sympathy of America and for people to finally see Portia for the low down, dirty ass scoundrel that she is. <laughs> she spreads it low and she spreads it wide. Lay it low, spread it wide. <laughs> like, y'all better not say shit about Kenya next season underneath my goddamn comments because I'm going to light all of y'all asses up. Light all of y'all asses up because y'all always want to say I'm fucking biased. No, I see through the bullshit. I used to be a hoe. I know whole activity when I see whole activity. I'm reformed now, but it's still in me. It's still in me. Sheridan trying to get it out, but it's still there. I suppress it every day. But I know a hoe when I see a hoe. My whole radar was do 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 Portia. I know a hoe when I see a hoe. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. I be telling y'all. 
I be telling y'all about this shit. Y'all go. Um, the same shit that I would have did when I was back in my whole phase. I would have secured that bag and I gave a fuck about Fallon. But I've learned what you reap, what you sow, honey. And the shit in the corner, her and this ugly ass man gonna get back. I pray for a child because you're going into it all wrong. It's so wrong and it's so fucked up. It's fucked up from the fact that he was friends with Dennis. Even though Dennis giving you the okay, it's still trifling. It's fucked up from the, the point that Simon was married to Fallon and y'all was cool kicking it. And now he fucking a bitch that he know his ex-wife knows and had, you know, time spent time with is yeah. that. From the fact that you and Fallon was cool going to the clubs and stuff, and now you in this woman house laid Somebody up in her sleeping in, in my, my bed, <laughs> baby. Somebody <laughs> in my place, <laughs> child. Ooh, it's weird. Honestly, and people who the only people who are standing up for this, like, I, don't be my friend. Hoes. They're hoes. Go away from, yeah, go away from me with that. Um, y'all, first of all, y'all can't say nothing about Kenya to me. Period. D- y'all saw what she said for my birthday. <laughs> nothing. I will be dragging you. Don't at me about Kenya. Period. Oh no, this social media that did this shit, Bay. B. Well, they dragged her for about six years off of Apollo, even after that man came out and said, I lied. Y'all dragged her for flirting, yet Portia can get a pass for screwing. Okay. Make it make sense, Jesus. Make it make sense. I know he, it couldn't have been my man. I, I know that. Baby, you can't even invite folks to the pool party no more. And, si- and remember what I told you, and you said it in your review that episode. Simon, they was out there in that pool, Lauren, Portia, all them, and Simon was looking over there like, hmm. I called that. Show. I was like, why is he sitting up there looking at them? It was weird as fuck. Nasty. It was predatory it was like ew like what are you doing it was so weird and meanwhile Porsche was looking around like yep mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, gonna <laughs> that. I'm gonna change that over there don't really like that molding gonna change that Oof. yeah yeah I peace juice it. Hey, none of y'all hoes come to my house no more <laughs> even Shredded, even the pastor I don't trust nobody now nope Mm-mm. Ain't coming over my house when I give me a man. No. <laughs> my God, you can't. Trust these nobody. people, no, these people are weird. Um, weird, and, and I just, I literally don't understand the thought process here. Because if my girl has a man, first of all, even my associates, so like your cousin Chantel, mm-hmm. I don't know that girl like that. I've been in her presence once. If I would were to know that she has a dude, I don't even look at him like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And if he ever tried to step to me, Keisha, you better tell your cousin <laughs> that this dude over here. <laughs> tell your cousin to come get him. Uh-uh. It's just, it's just wrong. I wouldn't even feel comfortable if, like I said, based on like the situation that I probably like with Tara, and I done been around y'all or whatever. And me and you ain't the closest, but I still know you. I know right. you. I know things about your life. I know, like, I would, I'd be like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck out my face, nigga. No. But let's just say they was just co-workers. Y'all be out here with y'all co- co-workers, man. Like, y'all just weird. It's so many more men. Girl. And we know it's so many more men, Portia. You not had them. You could have chose somebody else. That's all. No, she chose right, and she going to get what she got. She going to get it all. She going to get it all. I hope it's worth it. Because say, for instance, if they have only been dating a month, which I don't believe, but in a month, you're crazy in love, has let this man meet your family and your child. 
It's the child part for me. Fangle bitches. <laughs> and one thing Patricia Ann taught me is you don't have no man around your child. Every That's nigga right. that you date don't. Kyrie's has only been around two men in his whole entire life. And the first one he don't even remember because he was too little. So he only remember one. I don't play that shit. And he 21 now and I probably still wouldn't have no man around him. No. Yeah. It's just certain shit you don't fucking do. You can't trust these niggas. You can't even trust them to be faithful and truthful to you. What the fuck you gonna be? Mm-mm. And then you got a little girl at that. You don't know this That's man. You don't know this man and what he could be capable of. And you talking about some you in love. Is the bag that damn serious to put your child probably in a harmful situation? Because you don't know a person after four weeks. You don't. And yes, we have had those cases where people meet instantly and fall in love and then be together for 40 years. Is this going to be the case? Hell to the motherfucking no. Like, no, no, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But I had to think about it like, well, Portia got it right from her mama because, I mean, look at her. Oh, she got it from my mama. She got it from remember this season in the beginning where she was talking about her daddy and how her daddy didn't really spend time with her, but spend time with Lauren. It put me in the mind of was the mama the mistress? I thought they was married and he left her for Lauren, mama. Well, regardless, it whatever it is. I don't know. It's weird. Because mama looked like she tooted and booted too. Oh, she that body sculpted now. Body, bo- mama looks great. Yeah, mama looks great. Mm-hmm. She learned it from somebody. Ooh, she was even remember she was uh, jealous of Lauren too when she got pregnant. Portia is weird. That's why I'm like, how does anybody go up for this girl? She was jealous of her sister. She was jealous of her best friend. She shitted on everybody on this show. Everybody. Cynthia, Marlo, Kenya, Candy. Who hasn't she fucked over? Nene. She's fucked Nene. over everybody on the show. And but my y'all question. That kid is the villain. Yeah, because my question to y'all is how do y'all really, y'all really be defending this? <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird because if y'all dealt with something like this in real life, you would want all the sympathy. Y'all weird. Well, girl, that's but but can you the hoe? Yeah, but y'all ain't got no evidence of her being a hoe though. Mm -hmm. None. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. From ninety three till now, ain't no evidence. Remember, Portia said she read about she was prostitute. (laughs) Now that was funny. Girl, I was like, what? That she read it on the news or whatever she said she saw it That on. was Girl, hysterical. I it was a lie, but it was blurred. I hollered. I, I can't wait to see what everybody else in the cast got to say about this shit, honey. Girl. Child. Because remember, okay, now this is the funniest part to me, right? Portia do her stuff on, on the low. Like, she don't really want people to know about her harlotry. So, remember she got mad at Candy for saying she was with Block. She oh. got mad at Kenya for saying she was with Bolo. She was upset at Candy trying to throw her under the bus talking about she was an undercover, le- undercover lesbian when she's the aggressive one. Girl. I don't know what to say about Portia. Portia got a lot going sociopath. on. Her and Phaedra are fucking sociopaths. That's why when she did all that crap, Phaedra... You said, girl, I'm looking at her like, you I never fuck you was doing. That. You knew what the fuck you was doing. Girl, get out of here with that foolishness. Please. You want to condemn me for something that I did four years ago? Shut you want to slut shame me? You want to slut shame me? But you didn't call uh, Kenya a prostitute, a whore, everything yes. else. A slut from the 90s. Like, girl, okay. And, and you've done it to me. And you've called Peter a, ho- a hoe and said he was messing with every woman at his restaurants and stuff mm-hmm. like that, knowing that they could affect him and Cynthia's marriage. You don't care. While, uh, what's the girl named Drew was up here talking about? Toy don't care about marriage. She needs to direct that comment to Peach Juice. You don't care about husbands. How about that? I think that she's going to come back for this season. She's going to secure that bag. She's going to have her, her TV wedding that she's been wanting. Um, And this is going to be her last season. 
and she gonna ride off into the sunset or she gonna chuck up the deuce. Um, I really hope that Fallon comes uh to tell her side of the story this season. Uh because we really didn't I got a feeling Kenya gonna bring her on. Yeah, because her I got a feeling. Mm -hmm. I hope that Kenya is able to talk her into coming back. Um, because this is some trifling ass shit. And this will be a great storyline going into the next season. Um, I think Cynthia still needs to go because Cynthia didn't really say bit of nothing at the reunion. Like that, that solidifies it's it's Cynthia's time to go. Um, Drew gotta go because she was an absolute wreck. She was horrible. <sighs> She's coming back. Watch and see. Girl, I don't want her back, but watch and see. She'll be back. She was absolutely ridiculous. You could tell she was acting and trying too hard. Like it was just, uh, I do want Latoya back because she messy. Um, but I still mm -hmm. want some new blood in there. I want Fallon to come back because what well, Fallon was only in like what three to four episodes out of yeah. The um, so we really didn't get to even learn much about her. So I want her to come back. She's a beautiful woman. Um, and I want some new blood up in there. I really do. I want some new blood, new blood. I feel like it's been time to shake it up over there in uh, Atlanta. And now was the perfect time going into what season 14, because the Potomac girls is bringing it and they are on uh, Atlanta's neck right now. So uh, I don't necessarily think they're going to make a whole lot of changes in the cast uh, for Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think they are. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Because I feel like we have this conversation every year and nothing well, really happened. they tried to shake it up this season with Latoya and Drew, but... Right. Um, so I would like for them to bring Shamari back. They trying I to bring too. back... They're trying to bring back the wrong people, but I don't think Shamari mother in law trying to have her come back. No. I think that's why Shamari ain't on the show no more. No. Ronnie DeVoe, uh, mama was like, Girl, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> no, I would have loved Eva to come back, but I don't think that she will. But then again, she, she made that cameo, so who knows? But I really, I really wish that Claudia would come back, but I don't, yeah. that bag would have to be really good for Claudia to come back. But I felt like Claudia was um, taken off the show too soon. Um, who else could I see? Kiki Wyatt crazy ass would be great. I don't need her. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know people have said Tamar, but now no. uh, Tamar. Um, well, I guess she can move. I don't need Tamar. Who else in Atlanta? What about some of these little new little girls like Jada Wada? And... I don't need no more Instagram people. Uh, why are you famous? I literally don't know why some of these. Why? Why is Ari famous? What does she do? Like I, I don't need that. I don't That's follow any one of them. I don't know. I'm like, what is? Who are these people? All I know is they somebody's baby mama. Exactly. Child, um, I was going to say JT a young Miami, but that ain't gonna happen. Uh, yeah. They from Miami anyway. Yeah, I don't know. They just need some new blood up in their child because child. Oh, Jesus. This is a mess. You got anything else to say before we sign off, child? I just want to say that you, if you are one of the Porsches in the world, um, you can give your life over to Christ. He loves you. Um, we can pray for you. Um, there's deliverance and there's room at the cross for you. That's all. I really feel like you were talking to me. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to accept Woo! it. I'm going to accept it because I have moments where I want to slip back. I am weak. I really do. I have moments where I'd be like, I could go back to that, that way of life. But I wasn't being <laughs> blessed then. I wasn't being blessed. Um, so I accept. Weak. I accept Jesus Christ <laughs> in my life. Amen. Amen. I will not fuck nobody's man. No more. <laughs> no more. In seven years. Come on here. Yeah. Oh Lord. I won't do that. No more. <laughs> <laughs>
I will not use these niggas for their coins. I was sitting Woo. here thinking about the first nigga that I started tricking to buy me stuff. And I was in the seventh grade when I realized my feminine wows and what you can get just for pretending like you like somebody. I never kissed this nigga. Nothing. I just what made you get, girl? Girl, he was getting my hair done, getting my nails done and stuff. Oh, okay. I think his name was Kenneth, and he could dress mm -hmm. real cute. And he was a little chubby, little something. And girl, I had him getting my nails and stuff done. That's where it all started mm -hmm. with little old Kenneth. And I didn't that is like hilarious. Him. I didn't bit more like him, child. I was just using him because he was buying me stuff. Um, we see. I, I never had the opportunity. I never uh -huh. had the opportunity to do stuff like that. Yeah. I never had the opportunity to do it because baby Trina and Joseph, my parents, where you get that from? What girl, I would lie and be that? like, lotion uh pay for getting <laughs> <laughs> and my dumb ass mom like, oh okay, she <laughs> But then that, that shit started catching up with me in high school. That's why I had them fight with them bitches in high school because I was fucking with this dude named Antoine. And uh he was buying me shit. And girl, these girls that was grazed up for me, they was three. Yeah, I was a freshman. They were juniors. And it was so funny because it was uh, this girl named Lisa and this girl named Tiffany Green. And they mm -hmm. hung in the same clique. Hung in the same clique. They both used to talk to him, but decided not to like me because I was talking to him. I did. I wasn't cool with them. Nothing. And they decided uh, not to like me. You wasn't a sister wife. You was outside the circle. <laughs> <laughs> and I fought Tiffany and I fought Lisa. I beat Tiffany up. Lisa beat me up. Lisa was like, yo, height. Uh -huh. I ain't never told this story, but on the, on the show, but, um, I had to go to summer school, my ninth grade, uh, year. And, she every time she would see me coming through the hall, she would talk shit. She would be saying little slick shit, and I wouldn't say nothing back. I just keep on walking or whatever. So I mm -hmm. got wind that on the last day of school, she was gonna try to fight me. <laughs> so my plan was to ride home with lotion so I could avoid her because during summer school we had to get our own transportation to school. They didn't have buses, so we had to catch the you know regular bus or either get dropped off. So mm -hmm. my plan was to ride home with lotion so I could avoid her, but somehow I couldn't find lotion at the end of the day. So I had to catch the bus home. So I'm at the oh bus stop. God. Mind you, my cousin, my boy cousin, we not close, but we like second cousin, some shit. It was like five of us in the uh, underneath the little thing at the bus stop. So I'm mm -hmm. like, come on, bus, come on, bus, come on, bus. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bus. girl, uh, Lisa and her friend, what was her name? Tisha, roll past. Tisha had a drop top convertible. They parked that car. I'm looking this way like, where the fuck is the bus? Because <laughs> I did not want to fight her because she was way bigger than me and I knew I wasn't winning. So That is hilarious. I'll never forget she got out the car and she did one of these. She had, she had on some booty shorts and so she had like pulled her booty shorts down from in between her uh -uh. Like literally, friend, y'all was like the same height and weight. So imagine okay. if you fight me and you, if y'all see me and Sheridan together, we're literally Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Like, I literally <laughs> come to Sheridan's, like, hip. So, yeah. <laughs> she came and walked up on me. The girl Tisha was standing there like this. <laughs> she came and walked in, in the little bus station. I'm still looking this way, acting like I don't even see her. I'm like, well, maybe I, if I pretend like she ain't standing here, she'll just walk away. Um, Everybody quiet. She was like, she just walked up and said, get up. Oh. I kept on looking this way. <laughs> like, just wait for the bus to go. Like, where is the bus? She told me to get up again. I just sat there and ignore her. Next thing I know, she said, big up and hit me in my head. When I tell y'all, she hit me so hard, I saw stars. The shit is real. Like, when you see movies and it'd be like, D -d 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 -d, like a little Tweety Birds and a star. She hit me so hard, I saw stars. And I sat there and literally what was going through my mind is like, nah, I really got to fight this bitch. Like, God damn it. So I stood up and I rushed her. And I was like, big, 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 big. And we fighting. She was whooping my ass because she was taller than me. And like, I was like, I was trying my hardest to fight her big ass back. But the reach wasn't there because I couldn't even get to her. <laughs> I was so happy that a police officer ended up driving past. The fight only lasted for maybe like, it probably wasn't even two minutes. 
and the police officer stopped us and was like, get off her, get off her. And <laughs> I don't know why this is hysterical. <laughs> he pulled police off of me and she walked back to the car. And child, I had two knots on my forehead. And I was so not Cardi B. I had two knots on my forehead. And I'm looking at my cousin like, bitch, you just gonna sit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh go help me. I don't give a fuck if you are, boy. You see this big ass bitch? Like, what the fuck is wrong? I ain't spoke to that nigga since. I have not spoke to him since. He are you, was like, you all right. I was like, get your ass the fuck away from me. Go ask him all right. <laughs> I wanted to cry so bad. The whole bus ride home, I had to hold that cry in the whole bus ride home. Baby, when I got off that bus and had to walk home, I was walking home crying, talking to myself. You know you bad when you cry, talk. I was like, fuck that big ass bitch. I can't stand that bitch. I walk in the house. My mom said, what happened to you? <laughs> I had them two knots on my head. She called up there to the school trying to talk about some this girl that jumped on my daughter, this, that, and the third. I was like, girl, it's over now, shit. You know this bitch followed me right now on Facebook, girl. Be trying to Are be you serious? Friend. And be trying to be my friend, child. Girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, the Tiffany Green story, I fought Tiffany before I fought Lisa. And I whooped her ass. This was leading into spring break. Uh-huh. And it was the last Friday before we went on spring bake. And this is when we decided we were going to be wearing wigs. <laughs> Me and my friends had went and bought wigs. So when I not wigs, <laughs> we would have a wig. So I had got this like this little wig that kind of like had a little swoop. And then it kind of did like this, like a little bob. Uh-huh. what the fuck we was thinking so mind you, my hair was short like this, but it was a little bit longer enough for it, you know, to get curls or whatever. Child I had to go to a home economics class to get my bunny. We had made a bunny cake. And uh, I had my friend Shay, the one that said, girl, you need to put that up. Me and mm-hmm. her walked over uh, to the home economics class to get my bunny cake before the bus came. So we walked over there, got my cake. And as soon as we was coming back out and walking down the little corridor to go to cross the quad and get back to the uh, uh, freshman building, I saw the girl Tiffany come around the corner. I had on the wig, I had on a sweatshirt, and I had like a, a little crossbody bag on and some jeans or whatever. So I knew she ain't like me. She had been talking big shit too. She was tall too, but she was skinny. Mm-hmm. So she walked past. Shay was in front of me with my cake. I'm behind Shay. She come around the corner and she walked past me. And I'm thinking we just going to walk past each other like we already, you know, always do. She walked past me. She was like, bitch, and hit me. Next thing I know, we banging. Shay got my cake still walking because she don't even know we fighting. <laughs> they... Girl, the, the kids in the classroom saw us out there fighting. They all hanging out the window or whatever. <laughs> and I tell you, I beat the sleeves off of her ass. And my wig came off. I had nails on. So I had ended up breaking like two of my nails over her. Ooh, that's so painful. When she saw that I was beating her ass because I rushed her ass. So she tried to step back. Shay realized we fighting at this time. She was like, no, fuck that. Be her ass. Be her ass. I hurried up and took that purse off. And I was like, uh-uh, come on. My hair was nappy as fuck underneath that wig. <laughs> I walked back on her and I was like, bing, 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 bing. Everybody was like, ooh. <laughs> so she kept on trying to back up out the fight. I was like, nah, mm-hmm. this is what you wanted. Rushed her ass again, beat her up. By this time, the bell to ring for the last, uh, for the last hour where everybody leave. Security came out and grabbed me up off of her by my shirt like this. Mm-hmm. And he kind of like had me dangling. <laughs> That's when I was skinny, right? I was like a size. <laughs> he kind of had me dang. He told me, "Who is this little boy? Who is this <laughs> the little boy fighting? Not a little boy." They was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, she a girl. She a girl." <laughs> uh. Girl, I had broke my nail. My hand was bleeding. Girl, and her little friends was so mad, girl, because we had we both got sent to the office. They didn't suspend me because she started to fight. 
they sp- suspended her for five days. So she was going to have a uh, spring break off plus five days. And mm-hmm. so when I came back to school after spring break, her little friend says, mm-mm, that's fucked up. She ain't even get suspended. That's fucked up. <laughs> I can't. I haven't gotten into a whole lot of fights, but I've gotten into fights. I ain't never lost one. Girl. I done fought. Uh, wait. I've, I think I've been in five fights. Three dudes and two girls. Girl. Or has it been four dudes and two girls? Something like that. But yeah, I fought um, at my birthday party. One of the little girls from the church. Listen, my mama... <laughs> We used to have hotel sleepovers for our birthday. And um, so we had this one hotel where it it was a penthouse suite. So there was an upstairs and a downstairs. And so we uh, would have the sleepover on Saturday and go home on Sunday. Mm. So mind you, everybody going to church. Okay. Right. So my mama tell me, go tell all the girls upstairs. Um to turn the TVs off and let's come downstairs. So there's one little girl who I didn't want to invite to my party. Girl, let's always t- the one. Hello. I never wanted to invite her to my party. But anyway, um, because she was at, at the church, what it looked like we all pulling up from a hotel and then this one girl is not invited. Right. So <clears throat> baby, I go upstairs and I was like, my mama um, said, turn the TV off and come downstairs. That girl looked at me and then kept watching. And I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> something must be wrong with my throat. My mom said to turn the TV off and come on downstairs so we could go. This girl still looked at me and did like this. And Wild Wild West was on. I remember that. Um, <laughs> yes and so I was like so I walked in front of the TV I was like why are you acting like you can't hear what I'm saying that girl said move your big so and so out the way I said I want you to move me how about that that girl landed a little cute little punch right here I said I'm going to give you three seconds not you gonna give her three seconds. I'm gonna give you three seconds to run. She didn't run, and I commenced to beating her like she stole something. <laughs> I mean, her shirt was coming all up in the back, and so my mama and the other adults that was downstairs, they hearing this rumbling because we like all we don't went from the bed to the floor. We just rumbling, <laughs> and so my mama yelled upstairs, "What is all that noise?" And one of the girls sitting up there watching us fight. Sherry and Diddy up here fighting. Shut up. Why would you why would you tell on us like that? Girl. I ain't getting no trouble though. Cause once my mama found out who it was, she was like, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause she understood uh-huh. this child is yeah. trouble. Girl, I could not. Well, yeah, all of that was over a nigga, girl. But I learned my lesson. Stop using folks. Cause I got it back later on in life, and Portia gonna get yeah. it back too, child. So this was a great episode of Tea Party. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back after Sheridan's birthday with other episodes. We got some really good subjects coming up uh, yes. for future episodes. Um, yeah. So thank you guys once again for all your well wishes for Sheridan's birthday. And if any of you bought any of her book bags, um. Thank you for that as well. The link will Thank be you. Down below in the description box if you still want to cop. Are they still on sale or no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the book bags are still on sale if you want to cop you one. The link is down below in the description box as well as the link for my 40th birthday box as well. Get you one of those. We will see you on the next video. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Like I said at the beginning of this video, a slew of news came out as soon as we finished filming. Fallon finally uh, 
posted her comments about the whole entire situation. And she said, I want to thank everyone for reaching out to me and offering their love and support at this time. I am focusing on finalizing my divorce and healing, sending positivity to all of you sincerely Fallon. So according to her, they're not even divorced yet. So child, this just makes things even worse. This shit is so fucking messy also in the news today it was reported that Portia has landed another spinoff with Bravo the story goes it was greenlit months ago so it has nothing to do with the engagement news a source told page six the special is supposed to focus on Portia her activism and her family Portia's relationship with Simon Geo Metro Geometry whatever his last name is will now likely feature on the show if she's engaged to him and and she's pregnant with his child that could change things the insider added it would obviously become part of the special the limited series will begin shooting sometime mid-summer and production will not be moved up despite William's big life change now ain't it funny that this source went to page six with this T and the uh, Bolo story that ended up in page six came from some insider from the cast and everybody blamed Kenya. So it seems like Portia leaked her own tea <laughs> to page six. Hmm, ain't that funny. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> uh yeah i'm pretty sure her relationship will be displayed on the show and if she is pregnant lord help us all and i have one more bit of tea behind this whole fiasco not only was simon get on up <laughs> fucking around with portia um reports have also come out that he has been messing around with this young lady featured in this photo her name is Jessie Cakes, XOXO. Um, she sent um, her uh, information to one of the blogs. Um, and this is her blog conversation right here. She, uh, the person asked her, so were you and Simon in a relationship? She said, kind of. He spent the night. We were planning travel and talked multiple times a day, dinner clubs and quality included. And then the person said, oh, my God, when was y'all kicking it from people saying all sorts of dates she said i met him march 30th which means they were dated in april the same time him and portia were allegedly falling in love um the person then said damn and y'all was talking until he all of a sudden asked portia to be his wife men are such pigs and the girl said they are shaking my head now you see that this is legit news uh you see the girl in his car so they were messing around you see him this is just nasty, like, the diseases that are just being transferred is just so disgusting.